it's Anna from Southern Charm. Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to have you guys today. Um, before I start this video, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for two things. One being that it has been so long since I've posted. I have been excruciatingly busy, not going to fib, for quite some time now. Um, but it has been a fun kind of excruciating, so don't feel bad for me. The other thing is the very loud and obnoxious noise coming from that direction. I have my laundry on, and it needs to be on, and it needs to stay on. I've got lots of laundry to do, so sorry. That being said, we'll go ahead and turn to the topic at hand, which is how the ketogenic diet ruined my life. And I'll admit that I am being just a little teensy teensy bit dramatic. But I'm not kidding, it really has not been fun at all lately, as in since I started the ketogenic diet. So to begin this story and this explanation, we should start with the place that all stories really should start, and that is the beginning. Those of you who have been following my channel will know that it's probably the end of November, pretty close to the end of November, when I decided to challenge myself to lose 10 pounds in 30 days on the ketogenic diet and I decided to use the ketogenic diet because I could see how it would work. Essentially you are eating mostly fat, a little bit of protein and extremely, 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 extremely limited carbs and when you eat that way eventually your body eats up all the carbohydrates that are stored in your body and begins burning the fat which makes sense. It is a very difficult diet to follow because it is so strict but I could see how it would work because you put forth a lot of effort, you get a lot of results, made sense. I'm not somebody who's into all the gimmicks. It'd be nice if they were real, but I'm not into the gimmicks where you drink this shake and in 25 minutes you drop 30 pounds. It doesn't work that way most generally, but I could see how putting forth a whole lot of effort would equal a whole lot of results. It was probably about three days into the challenge that I started to just feel really gross. And when I said gross, it was kind of like if you've had kids, it's kind of like the first five weeks of pregnancy. That's what it feels like. It's just kind of, uh, like it's not like throwing up sick. It's not like your stomach's being all upset. It's just kind of like you don't have a whole lot of energy and you just feel yucky. That's the best way to describe it, the best way to try and describe it, really. And a few days after that, on top of that, I got really severe bad breath. And that might be TMI, but it happened, so I'm just going to go ahead and admit it. It was awful, really awful, and it continued through the rest of the challenge. Like, I didn't go anywhere without a stick of gum, just because... Literally, you could just burn somebody up with that crazy dragon breath. It was disgusting. As annoying as that was, honestly, it was also encouraging because according to everything I read online, getting the keto flu and the dragon breath are symptoms of ketosis. You're forcing your body to do something and your body is reacting, essentially, saying, hey, this is not normal. Wake up, do something different. But to me, it was just encouraging because apparently everybody went through that, so... That's what I thought, and I continued wholeheartedly. The first couple weeks, I lost about six pounds. You might have noticed that I didn't post my third week update slash weigh-in thingy video, and that was because, honestly, I was just so confused. I wasn't cheating, and I was feeling quite miserable, and I didn't lose a single thing that week. Not a thing, and I was like, what message do I convey? Do I just jump up and down and say, it doesn't work, don't try it? Or should I just see if maybe I've plateaued and all of a sudden I'm gonna lose a whole bunch next week or something like that? So I thought I would just kind of hang in there and wait it out and see. By week four, you guys, I was so miserable. I felt sick to my stomach, I was nauseous, I was tired, and I was starting to think that maybe I was getting a kidney infection. I had had one almost a year ago, probably, a really, really bad kidney infection. They, I went to urgent care because I didn't know why I was having this horrible back pain. And they sent me straight to the emergency room and apparently like my organs were all swollen. It was not a pleasant experience. It was really rough. And I was starting to experience pain in that same low back type of area and I wasn't experiencing UTI symptoms which is normally what you get a kidney infection from or at least according to what I have been told. Um, I wasn't experiencing that but I hadn't experienced it before either so I was like, uh, 
I don't know, just, just kind of pushing the water, you know, trying to make sure that didn't happen. But I would just be sitting in church sometimes and the pain would just come like in waves. Like you wouldn't be thinking about anything except the sermon. And it's like that pain came and was like, hey, it almost interrupted everything. It was just like overwhelming. It was getting pretty rough. So all that was going on. And finally, one Sunday in particular, we came home from church and I walked in the door and I was like, oh, I am going to pass out. That's what it felt like. It just hit me. And the floor was kind of trying to come up and say hi, and I was kind of trying to mentally push it back down, and it was just not a good scenario. And at that point, I decided that this wasn't worth it anymore. I had given it my best shot. I still only ever lost seven pounds. And most people in a month's time, like my mom tried it, and she lost seven the first week. So I was really getting discouraged with it. I had two days left in the challenge and I was honestly starting to fear for my health very significantly. And I was so discouraged. I was disappointed that I was gonna have to break the challenge two days early, but I felt like that's all I could do. I texted my little sister who happens to be an ER nurse. She's like, uh, yeah, it sounds like you desperately need some carbs. So it was like 10 o'clock at night. I went to the fridge and ate a cold piece of chicken lasagna. I was not relishing it at all. <laughs> and I went to bed and it was like you put a key into a locked door that you'd been banging on and just push the door open. Like it changed everything. I felt so much better. It was crazy. All in all, it's been a really long road to recovery. Um, I'm probably two weeks out from when I first introduced carbs again and the first week was really really hard every time I ate anything I would get sick to the point where you just kind of didn't want to eat but that would defeat the purpose of introducing more calories and more carbs into your diet just cutting them out all together so you know you just kind of forced it or I did rather I guess it wasn't you I hope it's not you <laughs> I forced it and kept eating kept trying to feel better and this week I am doing much much better sometimes I still get migraines sometimes I'll still get nauseous but not to the extent that I was two weeks ago it was really really difficult so case in point listen to your body the keto diet works wonders for some people but please for heaven's sake do not make it a lifestyle diet your body does need healthy carbs think sweet potatoes or quinoa or wild rice you don't have to go hog wild on little debbie cakes to feel your best and do well obviously but just be mindful of your body listen to your body i think the keto diet obviously does work for a lot of people on a temporary basis but please 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 listen to your body and if you are experiencing symptoms like i was then pay attention to those and you may have to go a slower route to get to your health goals but it's definitely worth it rather than sabotaging the whole process and making yourself feel absolutely horrible. If you've had any experience at all with the keto diet, I'd like to comment below and just get your opinion. I'm not bashing the diet or people who try the diet. Obviously, I tried it myself, and I know people personally who do really, really well on it, but I'd like to hear how your experience was and what you would do different, if you would do it again, and just really let me know what you're thinking. I would really enjoy hearing those things. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for tagging along with me today. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below this video and also click the bell symbol beside the subscribe button so you can receive notifications when I upload new videos. I do vlog about all things motherhood and homemaking once or twice. I'm trying to decide if I should do it once or twice a week. I'm leaning towards once. Let me know what you think down in the comments, what you would prefer and I would really appreciate that. You guys have a fantastic day, we'll see you later.